episode of What If A Man Did This, we're going to be talking about consent. How could you do this to me? Like, what in your brain went, yes, I'm going to post this. When the man that I forced to take 12 shots of tequila can't stay hard, yes, that is a great post. Like, ew, this is what the inverse looks like. God damn it! When that chick that you forced to drink half a bottle of Grey Goose just so you could get in her pants can't even walk straight? Fuck, just foiling my fun. Like again, ew, that's awfully grapey. And I'm not talking about the soda. So many women refuse to acknowledge that consent matters for men too. And not only that, on top of that, they refuse to acknowledge that like sexual harassment and sexual assault and you know, that thing that rhymes with grape, they refuse to acknowledge that that can happen to men too. But we're gonna do it today. Anyways, speaking of consent. She says, calling every male to come over when drunk. Now I wanna make something clear. I am not trashing her by any means because I'm not the type of person to sit here and tell a man or a woman what to do with their body, especially sexually, not my business. But, and it's a big but, that type of behavior is what I would call self-destructive. It is completely unsafe and any man that's going to go over to a girl's house knowing that she's absolutely hammered to sleep with her is the walking red flag. Consent matters and I have a rule of thumb which is I will never put myself in a situation where I may have to explain myself later. Do I think that there's anything wrong with this girl? Not for me to say. I'm sure she's a great person. But do I think that if you go over to her house, you're asking for something bad to happen or you're a walking red flag? Yeah, absolutely. We're not going to pretend like two things cannot be true at the same time. There are a lot of women out there that are like this though, and I'm not here to dissect and Dr. Phil why they do this. Because I don't personally do it myself, so I have no level of understanding. Which means I also am not judging. However, if you know a girl that gets drunk and invites you over for some, you know, for some schnookum time, no dick. Absolutely none. You know why? Because drunk people can't consent. Even if it is completely consensual, do you know how bad it looks? Do you? I don't need to spell it out for you. Absolutely no dick. Thank you. Oh,